Hello everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to host a Discord bot on Fly.io. The first thing I'd recommend you do is head to Fly.io slash docs, which will have information about anything you might need to do. First click on install FlyCTL and follow the instructions for your operating system to install the FlyCTL command line. I'm using Arch Linux so I'll be installing it with yay FlyCTL and installing it from the Arch user repository. If you are not using Arch Linux, you'll probably want to follow the instructions on this page. The next thing you'll need to do is create an account. You can do that by running fly auth sign up. If you already have an account, you can use fly auth login. I will use fly auth sign up and create an account. You can enter a card number to unlock more free allowances, but you can check out the pricing page to see if the free trial is good enough for you without even the extra free allowances. I'm going to click here for try fly.io for free and now the account should be all set up. I can check the console to make sure it's successfully logged in and now I just need to set up my project to deploy. I'll open up a project in VS Code. Now in order to host my bot on fly.io I'll need a docker file. It needs to tell it what version of Python to use and how to install the requirements. Now, there are multiple ways you could be storing your requirements. You could be using a requirements.txt file, which would look like this, and list all of your dependencies. Another way could be with poetry. Either way, you'll be creating a Docker file. So I'll create a new file and call it Docker file with the uppercase D, and no file extension. This will be the contents of the file if you're using a requirements.txt. So you'll say python colon and then the version. And you'll want to have a command that runs the requirements.txt here. If you're using poetry and you have a pyproject.toml file instead, your file will look more like this. So depending on which one you use, you'd use either this one or this one. If you have other dependencies you need to install, you want to make sure you have those run commands in your Docker file. That's all we really need to get started. I can type over here flyctl launch to get started with this project. It'll ask me for an app name. I can say tutorial bot. I select a region. So it's asking me to verify my email address. So I'll go do that. Let's try this again. I will not set up a Postgres database right now. And actually, will not deploy it yet because we want to make some changes to the fly.toml file that was just created. Most of the stuff we don't need. This is for web servers, so we can like delete most of this file, and then we can deploy this with flyctl deploy. And now we can go back to fly.io to check on the status. Go to our dashboard. And you'll see that we have this build in progress over here. You can also continue looking over here to see what it's up to. Now we can see that version 0 is being deployed. This is our first version of our app. And it says deployed successfully. So I'm going to refresh this page. Now we see that it should be running. Now we can check on the bot. And you'll see that here's the tutorial bot. And it is actually running right now only on fly.io. Now you'll want to note that if you're using like a GitHub project to deploy to fly.io, your environment variables will not be sent to fly.io. So you'll want to set those in your project secrets. So you can click here to open the documentation. And you'll see that this is how you can set secrets for your bot. This is flyctl secrets set, the key, and then the value. So if I wanted to add my Discord token, I'll come over here, use flyctl secrets set, and paste in Discord token equals followed by my token. Any other environment variables I have, I should also use when running flyctl secret set. You can do more than one at once by just ha having them separated by spaces. And now you see it's creating 
version one, which is the second version of my app, and is deployed successfully. If you have more questions regarding fly.io, I recommend checking out their documentation. They answer questions such as how to deploy your bot again. You just update your bot's code and run fly CTL deploy. You can also check this section on fly CTL specifically, and you'll find how to deploy an app, how to delete an app, restarting, resuming, suspending apps, all that you can do with the fly CLI. They also have a guide on deploying with GitHub Actions. I plan to make a video in the future walking you through the steps of linking your GitHub repository with your fly project. So look forward to seeing that in the next few days. I have a couple of changes I would make to this guide to improve the workflow. Make sure to check out that video in a few days. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!